In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to governmental accounting, going through those questions, and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question, the Governmental Accounting Standards Board sets financial reporting standards for either A, publicly traded companies who do business with the government, B, state and local governments and all not-for-profit organizations, C, not-for-profit organizations, and D, state and local government entities and governmentally related units and agencies. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. The Governmental Accounting Standards Board sets financial reporting standards for either A, publicly traded companies who do business with the government. So this uh, is not going to be it because even though they do business with the government, it's going to be publicly traded for profit. We can also eliminate that with a process of elimination by saying, that, you know, no, no other option is, is mentioning private type companies. So it's probably not the case. That seems to be an outlier. B says state and local governments and all not-for-profit organizations. So there we have the state and local, which we would kind of expect not for profit so though may not be there so we're gonna have to keep that c says not for profit organizations and notice it stands alone so b and c are similar you would think that if uh if b was correct then c would kind of have to be correct but possibly not the correct answer and then d says state and local uh government entities and governmentally related units and agencies now of those three of b c and d D sounds like it's going to be the most correct answer. That's going to be our actual answer, the final answer. The reason it sounds most cor correct, note that if you have a lot of kind of disclaimer type of information or a longer kind of answer that seems to be specifying a lot, then oftentimes it might be the case that that could be the answer because they're trying to eliminate those cases where it would not be correct. Also, if, if B was right, then you would think that C would be correct. And therefore, uh, those two could eliminate themselves even if we didn't fully know what the answer was. Final answer D, the Governmental Accounting Standard Board sets financial reporting standards for D, state and local government entities and governmentally related units and agencies. Next question. Established to recommend accounting and financial reporting standards for the federal government, either A, Financial Accounting Standards Board, the FASB, B, Governmental Accounting Standards Board, the GATSB, C, Generally Accepted Accounting Standards, GAP, or D, Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board, the FASAB. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Established to recommend accounting and financial reporting standards for the federal government, either A, Financial Accounting Standards Board, that's the FASB. Now we recognize that in for profit accounting, so we're probably going to say, you know, that might play a role, but that's not possibly the one we would expect something with government in. So I'm going to eliminate that. The next one says Governmental Accounting Standards Board, the GASB. So that sounds like one we might keep. The, the third one says Generally Accepted Accounting Standards Gap. Then that's a set of standards. It's not really a, an entity, and it's basically for profit mainly. And so I'm going to eliminate that one. And then D says the Federal Accounting Standard Advisory Board. And so that one, again, says federal government. So that's, um, I'll keep that one for now. So we're left with B and D. Let's go through it again. Established to recommend accounting and financial reporting standards for the federal government, either B, uh, Governmental Accounting Standards Board, GASB, or D, Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board. Of the two, because we're talking about the federal government here, we have the FASAB, the Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board. So a final answer, D, established to recommend accounting and financial reporting standards for the federal government, D, Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board, FASAB. Next item, which of the following would indicate an entity is a government and not a not-for-profit entity? Either A, no profit motive, B, Providers of resources do not demand benefits proportional to the resources provided. C. Taxes are a source of revenue. Or D. Uh, defined ownership interest. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Which of the following would indicate an entity is a government and not a not-for-profit entity? Either A. No profit motive. Now, we would expect that the no-profit motive is going to be something that would be in a not-for-profit and government. That's going to be one of the definitions of basically being kind of one of the a not-for-profit or government type of agency. So that would, you would think, apply to both. B says, providers of resources do not demand benefits proportional to the resources provided. 
And that would be, again, something you would kind of think of possibly for government and for not-for-profit because a not-for-profit, you expect people to donate, you know, or something like that. So they're, they're not, there's not going to be a, a, a same amount of compensation or the, the market perspective uh, wouldn't be there in terms of a, a fair exchange kind of idea if, you're, if it's partially donation. So I don't think it's, it's going to be B. C says taxes are a source of revenue. Now, taxes are something that the government can do. And typically, not-for-profit organizations are not up the, allowed to basically have the taxes or insert or put in place taxes, typically. So that seems like a pretty governmental and not not-for-profit type thing. D says no defined ownership interest. And so of C and D, I think C sounds more uh, like the one we're talking about. Defined ownership interest sounds like a for-profit uh, type of organization versus a not-for-profit, which both the not the governmental and the not-for-profit you would think would would have so i'm going to go with c final answer which of the following would indicate an entity is a government and not a not-for-profit entity c taxes are a source of revenue